What's the attempt doing this? What is up, guys? I'm your Space the TNA6, and welcome to Five Nights at the Chum Bucket. This game is the official sequel to Five Nights at the Custy Crab. So, yeah. Let's hope I'm able to actually get everything right, and if it doesn't work, then, well, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Hello? Hello? Oh my god! I've been trying to contact you for days! Where are you? I, I saw the flames across town. The restaurant, they, they burned it down. The animatronics. Well, that's enough of that, man. Why, wow, hello there. You must be the old security guard. I've been told so much about you from my superior. Allow me to introduce myself. For all intensive purposes, I am the second in command here at the Chum Bucket, and my boss has put me in charge of you. You and your buddy on the phone there have caused us quite a lot of trouble by escaping that fire. We can't have anyone finding out what happened at the old restaurant. That's where you come in. No doubt your friend out there is going to come and find you. So, we're keeping you alive until that happens. Essentially, you're going to be acting as bait. Don't get any hope from that, though. You're still on our hit list. Though, unlike my superior, I prefer a much more indirect method of killing my prey. Let me explain. You're not alone in this restaurant. Inside is a group of animatronics, just like your old job. This time, though, their sole function is to kill you. From the hours of 12 until 6 in the morning, those doors at the side of your office are going to be open. And you'll be a very easy target. However, as I'm a good sport, I've given you access to the restaurant surveillance systems through the monitor on your desk. Using it, you'll be able to track their movements. And if they get too close, you can close one of the doors on either side of the room. Simple enough, right? We don't even have power restrictions here. Nothing to worry about. There's a catch, though. The doors have a malfunctioning heatsink, and thus will overheat and short out if they're kept closed for too long. On top of this, the generator can only supply two pieces of equipment with power at any one time, and that includes both doors, the camera, and the flashlight on your desk. So be sure to use them strategically. That's all for tonight, though. There's more to tell, but it's not quite relevant yet. I'll let you know when the time comes. Anyway, good luck. In case you guys don't get what's going on, the, the, the similar animatronics to uh, the first two games. Like, Spongebob is here, but he's more buff. And Patrick is uh, here as well, but he's bigger. The animatronics are bigger here. I was in the update, he managed to add these little flashlights. Oh, the flashlight, uh, oh wait. Oh, the flashlights are not them. Anyways, Patrick's gone missing. I pretty much do a bunch of things I would do, but I'll still be a little scared. Besides, I've only ever made it to, uh, night three or something. Was it night four? I don't remember. Basically, I made it pay for in one of my uh, last attempts, so... Also, things are a lot darker, apparently, because things were not this dark the last time I played it. Hello, Spongebob! 
I can see your hand. I so is Patrick. Patrick. This is Patrick. No, she's the West Patrick. Sometimes he'll disappear, apparently. Oh, he's gone. Oh, hi, Spongebob. I forgot he appears there. But seriously though, where's Patrick? It appears that we've lost Patrick. No, seriously, guys, I have no idea where Patrick is. Oh, there he is. He's with Mr. Krabs. I guess as they explain this, that's where you see which night it is and what time it is. You can literally see the minutes scroll by like seconds. So, I mean that it's going to take six minutes for us to get past each night, depending on how we go by it. Good thing I checked! Is Patrick still there? Where is he, Patrick at? Oh no, he's not there anymore. Where is he? There he is. Still there, SpongeBob. Just I tell you guys in the Final Fantasy the Custy Cat how much I love SpongeBob. It was like one of my childhood memories of watching it growing up. I haven't watched Mr. Mon episodes, but oh my god, I loved it. Uh, Patrick, why are you going down to the generator? No joke, that is where the generator is in this game. I mean, that if Patrick possibly goes down there, then... <laughs> then he's probably gonna... I mess with that thing. But I think that if we. P oh, it's almost 5 a.m. It's for 6 a.m. If we push this button, it'll uh, cause them to go away from the center here. Oh, pfft. I forgot about that. It doesn't go straight to the uh, next night. I guess it's just to. Uh, save a little better so yeah but if we want to quit then then yeah that's fire effects by the way better than the first one
take it for the lack of red mist spattered on that window. That means you survived your first night. One of the things I forgot to mention last night was the relevance of the air ducts throughout the facility. The animatronics, well, one of them, might try to get into your office through them. Though, so, don't worry. We've given you remote control over the ventilation covers directly above your office, which you can access from inside your security cameras. The catch is, well, you'll figure it out. Fortunately for you, they don't even count towards your power budget. Speaking of that, on your desk there's a button marked Overdrive. That's linked to the generator downstairs. It'll allow you to use an extra piece of equipment for a short time. Be careful though, as it'll have to cool down. It'll also scramble any animatronics that are standing too close to it. I think there's one in particular that might try and go down there to mess with it. Keep an eye on that, would you? Make sure you watch everyone else as well. I don't think they're going to let up just because there's something new to worry about. Anyway, I'll talk to you again tomorrow night. If you're still here, that is. Bye bye. That other time he was talking about that can go near the uh, generator. It's that one that just stood up. Yeah, you have something to worry about. In case you don't know who that is, that is Sandy. Yes, she is still in this game, but she is something entirely different. I'm just about to that best to. <laughs> and is that one end of the tunnel that goes to the fence? That is actually Squidward. And Squidward? Well, let's just say he got an epic read design in this game. I'm not kidding, he looks better in this game. He can only go through the fence, though. And there's a fence. Down here. Yeah. Squidward can go down there, but he doesn't mess with the generator like Sandy does. Anyway, I've got the figure. I guess the SpongeBob's getting closer. Oh, there's Squidward. Like I said, he got epically designed, kind of like Spongebob, and, uh, and, uh, what's the crap, dude? Wait, where's Sandy? Where's Sandy? Oh, there he is. There she is, there. Why did I confuse Sandy for a girl? I do not know. I still see her on Spongebob. And those girl was not there yet. Open. The Squidward, he doesn't appear by the door though, and there's Sandy. She looks like Toy, t not Toy Chica. She looks like normal Chica from Finders Face Two in that pose. Except I think she can get out in a pose of some sort. Wait, Sandy, you were just over here. Geeky, get out of the way. Oh, wait, that's a Patrick. That is most definitely a Patrick. Did Patrick disappear? I think he did. What? Oh god, not this again! Wait! No, oh, Squidward! Yep, that's Squidward! That is most definitely a Squidward! Yeah, that was what's, that is what Squidward looks like now. 
Anyways, I guess that's a good time for me to cut. <clears throat> Thank you all so much for watching. Your likes on Facebook it really helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Hit Douglas out. Peace.